Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 as we continue on in this uh, this very first series here. Um, we fast forwarded time. I've been waiting for snow forever and still no snow. So um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm going to take uh, or I'm going to check on some of these jobs. Now, like we do have this one. We can borrow the equipment or lease our own. It's field 57. So um, let's see, which one is it? It's a pretty big field. So I don't really think I want to go that route right now. Um, I do want to check, however, the used store. Um, we could get like a big, ro this big Rostelmash. And, and then we could actually rent or lease actually. Let me see. If we look at the cultivators, um, we could lease, you know, like one of these guys. I wonder how much a lease would be on this. Three thousand. Okay, never mind. We'd, we'd want to buy that one. Um, so that, <laughs> that's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> one thing I did want to look at. Actually, somebody, um, I think in the last episode or maybe the one before, um, I was talking about how we have the rocks and that how, you know, in the fields and whenever we plow and then cultivate, <clears throat> we always have these rocks left over. And somebody actually, <clears throat> somebody actually brought up the possibility. I think it's a production, one of these production things. Um, that's a bakery. Carpentry, dairy, grain mill, spinnery, sugar mill, tailor shop, cereal factory, oil mill, grape processing, another bakery, carpentry, dairy, and spinnery. Okay. Somebody, somebody basically said that um, you could buy a, you could buy one of these places, and it would turn. You can sell your harvested goods and produce goods. Yeah, somebody was saying that no, you can actually break up the rocks at one of the production facilities. And it would turn it into lime. So I'm just like looking at all the different ones here. I'm not seeing one yet. Dairy spinnery. I would think it would be, I mean, factories. Wait, this is what we were just looking at, right? Selling points. This is just where we sell it all. And see, this is the debris crusher. That's where you sell your debris. Gosh, it would almost be worth $10,000 just to not have to drive it all the way back over to the other place. Um, now, we do have the greenhouses. We have the small one. I wonder if the small one would make us any money. And then the large ones, like 10000 now we could get rid of this, which actually wouldn't be too bad because then we could just plop a greenhouse right there. Hmm. What's this? Oh, they're like this little side Ooh, that'll be cool. Oh, these are like... Oh, <laughs> oh, we gotta put like all kinds of lights around our farm. 
Nighttime farming. Okay, and this is just general landscaping. I mean, I'm not seeing. Oh, ooh, I forgot about these. 16 bucks an hour, 33 bucks an hour. Oh, they're like bringing the old solar panels back from the old farming sim days. So, you know, I don't know if he's talking about a mod or the people were talking about mods. I just don't know. Tools. <clears throat> like, it's kind of a tool, but it's not. Obviously not, not a farmhouse. Uh, let's see. Liquid fertilizer tank. Now, is this a tank that we have to fill ourselves with fertilizer? I just don't know. Small patrolling. Okay. Hmm. Well, we do have... I tell you what. I am going to... Let's see. Let's sell this for zero, unfortunately. All right, so we have that. So if we go down, back to, was it production greenhouses? And we can buy a big old greenhouse, right? Like right here. And the, uh, you can see on this side, that's where the pallets are gonna pop out at, right? Is that right? Let's go like over here. Yeah. Cool. All right, we now have it. Now the other thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need to buy a water tanker. And I know that I f forgot where these were. Okay, we've got this water tank. We've got... That one's 7,300. This one's 8,000, so not much more. Or than the big Konkin one. So I guess we'll just buy one of these. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, now I gotta figure out what I, like, what I wanna do. Uh, let's see, is this, did we disconnect this? Nope. Alright. So, we're gonna head off to pick that up. And then we're gonna have to make regular trips. to fill up the water tank. And we'll use a free water source too. Um, if we go to the map, basically any of the ponds can be used as a free water source. Um, obviously, I think, you know, maybe eventually we'll want to buy, wait. Is it not letting me... Oh, I'm hitting Z. Yeah, so maybe like Field 56 we'll have to buy someday and set up a bunch of um, greenhouses here. And then we just have to kind of go right through here to get water. Uh, let's see, there's this. And that's really about it. Oh, there's like a little pond right here. So, yeah, I mean, you, if you bought this area up here, you could probably do that and you've got the, your water source there as well. So there's our tanker there waiting for us. Uh, let me get my controller out. And there we go, Joskin.
And then right over there is where we need to go. To get water. And it's it's free. Now you can set up um, like a water tank, I think, at your local farm. But when you... Whenever you uh, take water from it, it's going to cost you money. Now, eventually we're going to be swimming in money. But until that point... Uh, we want to make sure that we're saving money. Oh, I could have drove in right there. All right, so we'll um, let's see here. Ah. No, <laughs> there we go. And then there's the farm right over there, so we can just take that that uh, road there. Right, look at the look at the shadow of the trees on the on the uh, the tractor. That is so freaking cool. I feel like they've really the giants has really upped their game with the shadows. Now, one thing I want to hear from all of you guys who are, or girls, who are uh, doing or using the greenhouses is what, which fruit type brings in the, the most money, in your opinion? Or maybe people have done math. I want to know from you guys, which one is the most profitable? I think I'm going to start out doing strawberries, though. Okay. Right mouse button and Y. Why? Because I said so. Now, what's really going to be interesting is... I'm going to set this tractor I'm going to set his destination like right over here and I'm going to see if he actually attempts to drive there he is attempting to drive there oh he's actually going for it there's a this is like the only reason why I kind of don't want to join these fields is because then everything has to go out the other entrance, and the uh, the workers, I think, get confused. All right, so anyway, let's head over here. And... Oh, you click on the greenhouse anywhere, the doors open up. And you can just go in here and hit R, and so um, you can see what your production is going to be. You know what? I haven't tried lettuce. I did tomatoes and strawberries on my uh, my live series, my live stream, but I have yet to uh, try lettuce. So let's try lettuce. Um, and then if we, I really, really, really wanted to, I could buy another um, greenhouse. But I kind of wanted to leave. I wanted to just get the one because I wanted to leave this little path here and kind of keep things I don't know working normally let's see here can I okay I can't I have to actually walk in here so we're already starting to go through uh, the water wait did I okay so it's gonna store the let it why does it why is it saying tomatoes Inactive running. There we go. Cycles per hour, two. Two and two. All right. 
All right. Um, okay, AI worker has completed their task. Come on, refill. Oh, I think you actually have to kind of tilt it up so that that nozzle's closer to the water. Maybe. First you need to fill the tool. Is it filling? It just said start filling. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Well, that's filling. I want to go into farmland. I want to see how much... Ooh, 100, 114,000 for field number 50. Yeah, I really want to know about what, like, how do I process those rocks? Is it a mod? Is it something in game that I'm not seeing? Maybe I'll go look it through the store again. Let's, well, when we get this back and start uh, filling the water, um, we'll go and look through the store once again. Actually, I should have just hired the worker to bring this guy back over, but that's all right. I kind of, you know, sometimes I like doing things myself. Not always, but sometimes. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Auger wagons. See, like stone pickers, like this is the one that I would consider purchasing. But I think we could probably pick all the stones on the entire farm and probably only have maybe a thousand dollars worth of stones. The other problem with this is um, the hopper is only two square meters. So I, I think it only carries like two, well, I don't know what two meters squared is. I want to say it's only like 200 liters of stones. It's not much. Um, what do the rollers do? Oh, the upper, okay. I don't know that I really need one. Let's see, fertilizer sprayers. See, these are the ones that we would use for liming. Ooh, baler. One thing I would really like is a silage trailer or, you know, to pick up grass. Um, the only problem then is if we go to what's farmland. Oh, that's where we actually buy farmland. I don't, I don't need that construction. Is it contained now? There's your supplementary water tank. This supplement helps you to supply your greenhouses with water. It must be placed near greenhouses. Uh, 
I almost want to buy one of these just to test out, but I think it uses money. I mean, we could buy one and just kind of see. I'm just going to buy one. We can sell it if it's not working out. Um, let's see, produ no, produ silos. So we would need this. A bunker silo can be filled with chaff, grass, or hay. After compacting and covering the silo, the con content converts into silage. But look how big this monster is. So I would almost have to, we'd almost have to use this field right here. Just get rid of it in order to do silage. I mean, we could even rotate it like that to do silage or you know maybe put it down here <clears throat> this field would be a, a good one to you know get rid of and put other things on here because it's not like it's like a massive money maker now these fields that's a different story but if we get a silage bunker and a mower and a and a trailer then we could definitely start making money. So I might actually do that after this first harvest because obviously I don't want to do it right now because we have, we've already paid to seed to all these fields and do all the other work. But that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now is you know trying to get, <clears throat> trying to get into silage. So that's going to be 25,000. And then if we go to... trailers we and we don't even need the biggest one we can just get this little one for 30,000 so that's going to be 55,500 and then we would just need a mower we would need like well a mower and a wind rower I guess um so we could do we could do like you know just a basic one we could do the coon. I mean, it, oh gosh, it's like a hundred grand just to get into that. Ooh, is this the really nice one? This is the nice one that'll take everything and put it into a single windrow, I think. I don't think the, the coons do that. I don't think this one will do that. Um, cause there's no conveyor or anything. Um, I'm not sure about the Pottinger. Yeah, the Pottinger looks like it will because it's you can see this big kind of back half here. Grass is going to come in from the front. It's going to be, yeah, you can see the see the spiral going down there. So that's going to you know kind of move everything towards the center. So that's a 10 meter wide. This is 8.3. And this is a 7.3, gosh, 52,000. I think we'd have to start off with the coon or even, we could just get this one. And then, yeah, I think we could, I think we could do that. And I don't know how much mowing, you know, just going around and mowing the farm. I don't know how much mowing that would end up uh, being either. All right, so 14,500 and 78 liters let's see okay so our water is full here and then what happens over here do we i'm gonna go and fill this up let's see let's go should have had him moving again just gonna put him in the water there <laughs> <clears throat> yeah i think the silage idea is pretty good because you make a, you just make a ton of money on silage. It's ridiculous. And then depending on what type of yield we get off the um, the fields, filter soybeans, oil seed, radish, and grass. Stubble tillage, cultivated plow seeded growing. So 
So how do you actually tell though what your soil quality is? That's the next thing. Actually, the next thing is figuring out what I want to plant on field 51 or, or 50 or whatever. Um, let's see, we've got to look at the calendar. It's probably either going to be oats, oats or because because we can plant oats in March and harvest them in July. We'll be harvesting our canola in July and our wheat in July. So we'll basically be harvesting everything pretty much at the same time. And then we can immediately plant either all canola in August or, you know, wait And, and do barley and wheat in September or October. <sighs> I just don't know. We are going to have to buy a plow, though. Because the uh, the fields at the... And these fields up here need to be plowed. Um, oh, he's already there. Gosh, he seems, he seems like he got here really fast. I'm impressed there, hired worker buddy. Oh, that's me. He even parked out in the water just like I wanted him to. Good job. I don't even need it. I don't even know if I need to fill this up anymore since I have the supplementary water tank. Whoa! But you don't, I don't think you have to provide any seeds or anything like that to the greenhouse. They just automatically work. And you just have to give them water. So as long as we can keep the water costs low or at zero, <clears throat> then that's uh, going to be just raw profit. I don't think it's going to be more than a few thousand a month, but hey, anything helps at this point. Oh, I was wanting to see if I can back Okay, that doesn't do anything. So, by placing this tank here, does it just add... Okay, so that's, that says 18... Oh, wait. 19,000 liters. I don't think... Hold on a sec. Does it say, yeah, see, it doesn't give us really a lot of information about how much water those things consume. And, and I mean, we could put greenhouses like all along here. Matter of fact, um, we could even do another one right here. <clears throat> but what I kind of want to do, that thing's still going. Okay, so that's, I think that's all the water it's got. So it's full now. So all we can do is uh, shut our tractor off and we can head over to the house and go on to the next month.
Oh. We've got snow. We've got snow. <gasps> We've got snow. Whoa. Yay, we finally have some snow. Great demand at Debris Crusher. Great. <laughs> Wait, does it even tell us? Like, oh, wrong screen. Does it even tell us what? Okay, there's lime. Stones. 216. I think that's double. <clears throat> so if any if if we do the rocks right now man let's see here I feel like I just should buy the rock crusher Where is it? Where is it? Stone picker. <sighs> But we have all these. Um. And I think I have to convert. I think I have to convert this trailer. All right. Let's um. Let's send him up here and then I am going to get into the pickup truck and we'll put some uh, we'll put some lettuce in the pickup and we'll send it to wherever we can sell the lettuce oh hello Great. There we go. Okay. Um how full are we of so there is water storing 148 liters of lettuce so not a terribly massive amount considering one of these containers here is 200 oh gosh what the heck that there we go all right so where can we sell lettuce um let's see let's look at the lettuce where will it let us oh my gosh thirty seven hundred dollars johnson's farmer's market um, that is going to be up here. All right. Pickup truck. Set destination. Hopefully he will drive safely there. Good luck, Billy Bob. Lettuce is not accepted here. What is it? Wait, where's the... Oh, okay, I think it's over here. So I think we have to come right here. And we need to customize it to this configuration. 
Oh, and it's not gonna cost us anything to do it. All right, boom. Nice. So we will be able to click him. And then we'll just come down here somewhere. Okay. It says we're blocked by an object, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, one thing I was a little bit disappointed about with the snow is like when you drive through it, you don't really leave any tracks. You leave the you leave tracks sometimes, but not all the time. But they don't actually have an imprint in the snow. And I would have swore, like maybe with the seasons mod, that that did actually happen. I'd like to at least get all of the lettuce that we have sold in this episode. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy that we finally have our first snowfall. Ooh, that's all? Oh, wow. That's kind of a waste of time reconfiguring this trailer. All right, well. Hey, why isn't my beacon working? Oh, there it goes. All right, that was weird. Let's see, all right. Truck. And then I think we just have to, instead of driving over the grain pit, I think we have to drive over right here. So we're gonna get probably like 2,000 something, Ooh, almost 3,000. So yeah, I said, yeah, it was about three grand a month. Ooh, now I really wanna do lettuce. Man, if I had a bot, well, if it can make three thousand a month, then it's going to take a little bit over a month to pay for itself. The greenhouse with lettuce. Right, right, right. Oh man, we don't have any more. I feel like let's fast forward time to like 10 at 10 times. I'm gonna put this guy in here. There we go. So, okay, so 59 liters, two cycles per hour. I don't know what the cycle does. Um, now, I don't think we own this right here, though, do we? Yeah, I think we own this right here. Yeah, we do. So we could actually put another greenhouse here. 
which I think I'm gonna do. Because three greenhouses are, should generate about 10,000 in income a month. And all we'd have to do is just offload them. Actually, we don't even have to offload them. All we have to do is set the, is provide them water. That's really it. Okay, while I'm doing this, let's go find, Could get the water trailer. Oh look, it left it left a little spot where the water or the thing was the tractor was. Alright, let's see if we can drain out the rest of the water. And then Yeah, we'll set the de destination back over here. And then let's go ahead and I, f I literally feel like trying to buy three greenhouses or two more really uh, production greenhouses 10,000 oh it's hard to tell actually I don't think because we're not gonna be able to put it here we could like, actually, we could put we put this right here. <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. I did not mean to do that. Oh, no. Well, there's the field. We're going to have kind of a little divot here. Um, I think at one point, I might do like what I did in my live stream. And because you can just barely see it, but there's like this triangular shape sticking out here. So I might turn this into grass and then build or buy field 49 right in here. This area, this blank area, and then just put a bunch of greenhouses there. And again, all I would need to do is you know, fill these up. I'm gonna just drive back through here. Can I? Come on, man. Make me look bad. What the heck? Start filling. There we go. Oh, look at the trees. Look at this. The tree branches have snow on the top, but not on the bottom. Good call, Giants. Good job. I'm, I'm really, I really like the snowfall. I really do. At first, I was kind of unconvinced, but yeah. And, and I can't say it's like the perfect snowfall. As a matter of fact, I don't really like what the snowflakes look like. I think they... I don't know. It's like I feel like I've just run under like one of those paper... I don't know what to call them. Not paper mache, but uh, I can't even think of it. It's almost like the stuff that they throw at weddings. What is that called? Remember how they used to throw rice at weddings, and then everybody stopped throwing rice because the PETA was claiming that the birds were coming to eat the rice, and then they would drink water and the rice would expand and, and blow up the birds. I don't know if a word of that is true. Um, it kind of sounds a little ridiculous, but um, yeah, see, we got that little bump right there, which I'm not a big fan of. So we might have to take care of that. Um, okay, so boom, we're going to water this one up. Um don't know if this I don't know how close the other 
You know, it looks like it's going to go up to about, let's see. We're going to activate, can we have more than one activate? Deactivate, so lettuce and lettuce. What happens if you do tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuce? Is it gonna divide everything up and you're just gonna get like about a third of each? That's, I don't know. Oh, another thing that you can do is like, okay, so I'm on my large greenhouse right here. If I go over to like outgoing products, if we go to lettuce, cause it's gonna store the lettuce, I guess it's gonna, store the two strawberries that we've made. Um, you can change the output mode and now it goes to selling. See how it goes to selling there? So we can actually sell all this directly. But I don't know if we get, <clears throat> I don't know if we really get top dollar if we do that. So um, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come over to this one Why did he come back here? Oh, or did I send him off to sell that? Um, what I'm gonna do to both of them, oh, I didn't even have to come over here. Um, I'm gonna have him change the output mode here as well, and then he'll just sell that outright. All right, so we'll close that. And then let's go up and sell the, uh, sell the lettuce. If it'll let us. <laughs> that was a that was a horrible dad joke. Do, do, do. But it's kind of a nice like just like kinda chilling, like looking at the countryside getting that out of the way so you can see the map a little bit better. Driving 75 miles per hour down icy roads. <laughs> um, I could, oh man, I could do another, I could do another greenhouse, but I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. That's the problem. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is we're gonna sell the, oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, it's gonna sell this. $748, $29,999, wow. Um, well, let's just go to the house. Let's fast forward to the next month. I've got to run here, um, and I, but I just want to see if if it gives us a certain amount of money for all the all the lettuce eye lettuces lettuce. I think lettuce is plural of lettuce. I don't think lettuces is correct. Lettai is also not correct. Loan payment. See, we're up to thirty-six thousand now. So um, we had to have made at least six thousand three hundred ninety-three off of the um, the lettuce, the lettuces, <laughs> and we just have to go and get more water. Um, the other, the other one. Let's see. We have. It looks like we can still have some frost. Let's a March, a cold March morning. So. Yes, that would make sense. We got lettuces here, plenty of water uh, on both of these. So yeah, I think this is working out so far and we've even got a load here. We can sell uh, sell that off as well. So um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Greenhouses, guys. I mean, how awesome is that? And they will make you money all year round. You just have to feed them some water now and then. Well, that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much again for joining me for more Farming Simulator 22. As always, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the greenhouses or you know, if I'm doing something wrong or 
right or if you've got additional information always love hearing from you guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button as we push forward towards 90,000 uh, just a few hundred left to go until we hit uh, the big 90,000 subscribers and uh, then on to 100,000 so uh, thank you so much for joining me again I'm Brad M73 I will see you next time for more Farming Simulator 22 bye for now